and welcome back. As you can see, I've done this mission <coughs> innumerable times. So I know most of it. I nearly got to the end, but I'm actually considering... <sighs> like, this is just unnecessary. Like, I like how it's realistic fighting, but the checkpoints is what bothers me. Because fewer checkpoints means no checkpoints whatsoever. Going back to the first montage in this episode 2. So, yeah. I guess we can try this one last time. Valkenheim. We needed to reach the fortress at Sverngard before the Vikings had a chance to respond. But at the great cliff that splits the valley in half, we found our way forward blocked. Fortunately, we had a peacekeeper. Mercy among our ranks. There's usually a little cinematic to go along with explaining what Mercy does. And to be honest with you... Like... Sharpened Blade... It's really good. Oh, no, actually, Deadly Level 2. Having that damage for 15 seconds actually can do a lot of damage. To anyone. And you don't get execution off the little grunt guys. So I might as well just clutch my way out. <laughs> I mean, raiders hit hard, you know? Especially when you're fighting around about 10 raiders each level. Right now, just for the sake of progress and getting Our these out at a reasonably passage. good time, I just the need to do it this way. Can be creative when they want to be. Right. Let's get started. Now I know this game says for honor, but we're playing an assassination type character. And considering all the other attempts. You can see how that went in that montage. But anyway, let's get started. Stab stab. Stabity stabity stab stab stab. Oh, my bad. See, no execution. The problem. Viking tribes all have different customs. These look to be warborn offerings, probably for strength in war. Every time I come up here, I always say four shields, a few broken pots, one fixed over there, an axe, a helmet, and a sheep's head. This is what they offer to them. They're not very great to their ancestors, huh? Holden should never have sent those scouts ahead. He should have sent me first. Why didn't I say anything? I don't like Mercy Apollyon or Apollyon. Asked me to clear the way. Not even a man. So of course Holden's alright. But he's the only one that got some character development through speaking roles. Which necessarily don't make him a character when you think about it. Just such a good thing having that health there, you know. Just speeds up this whole process because I can stop worrying about executing these, these guys. Will claim Legion lives. These Vikings should be more vigilant. That's another thing. Polyon's a really dumb military leader when you think about it. I know she likes going on about toughness and all that and the invincibility of her army, but at the same time, you normally. Don't judge your army by the strongest soldier. Judge it by the weakest. And, well, I'm reasonably physically fit and I don't want to be campaigning during winter. For good reason. Stop. 
They docked their boats there, so there was a path to the top. I was sure of it. Service is life. Service is life. There we go. Easy peasy. The volcano's cloud has withered this place. Oh, gotta deal with the raider first. Oh, no, no, no. And behind the X. The two swordsmen really aren't a problem. Let's click. These Vikings should be more vigilant. Well, there's a way up there. A few extra pots are over there. Along with this other berserker. <laughs> Holden has lost his way. It's sad. I wouldn't really say he's lost his way. I say he's got a sense of tactics. Just being able to do this mission on full health helps a lot. Because there's no way such a lightweight class like this can take on this many of them. Especially this raider up here. I got a lot to him. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Stone is trustworthy, I think. Rude, but trustworthy.
I don't even need to kill the other guy. Like us, most of the Vikings don't even know their own history. These are their ends. Like us, most of the Vikings don't even know their own history. These are their ancestral lands, lost a millennium ago. They returned from across the sea and reclaimed them. Why did they ever leave is the question. And where did they leave to? It's not like Vikings could become Vietnamese fishing villages. Oh. Not for that warden. <laughs> hmm. There's a foot patrol that passes through here. I think I've shown you all. Mm. The rest are inside here. There's another revenge mirror over there. When you think about it, considering Mercy traveled through this pass, it wouldn't be impossible for the opposing army. Like the knights, they say they're few in number. Pass would be ideal for them. At least that's my thinking of the situation. Because they say the Vikings got more numbers than. Oh! I wonder who will betray that warden. There had to be a better way inside than the front door. I had my pride to consider. My hit and run style certainly has its perks. If you're not quick, you're gonna die. You'd think they would have guards or archers there, wouldn't you? The volcano's cloud has withered this place. Every damn time. It's 
so cold. Ah, I'm telling you. I have to use the AI in that on this difficulty level. I don't like it, but it does make me seem like a pro. Nice place though. It's defensible, small. If this game actually had something called tactics, I then idea. I might be impressed. Suppose that does. So three guys will come out up here. First the raider. Getting inside was easier than I expected. Then these two. But these two will split apart like so. So one's gonna walk down here to where that other raider is and start talking to him. But considering I have health, they're more than welcome to intervene. I was pretty sure this was going to work. And you'd think they would have another way out, but no. Vikings love to feast. Maybe I could find a way to shut them in. Wow, that's the first time in a while that I've seen a Berserker do another attack other than that overhead swing they normally do. Oh. We're now close in. Kill. Up. Oh. Up. Oh. Stab, stab, stab. And one, two, three. Poison. Learn to love it. Ah, oh, shut up. Now there's a raider in here as well. Honorably, then. Make the first move. Oh. You got a good death. If that hell is a thing, I'll see you up there. Whoa, whoa, alright. I see somebody secretly has invincibility for his first few seconds so he doesn't get instantly assassinated. There isn't enough room in here to maneuver. So I'm actually gonna have to block him. Hmm. Oh. The machinery was well made, but I had a job to do. Too bad, really. Could have kicked him out here, maybe. Actually, for the last stage of this fight, we do want that. Now, the last observation is somewhere in here, I think. Oh, I here it is. Pull that one, I think. It's just there. Their machinery was far beyond what I had expected to find. Since the last time I'd been through, they had uncovered a new source of lore. Or perhaps... What would happen if I pulled that lever? I'm actually quite happy with this art style. Seems very Viking-esque, 
you know, no, with the Viking tool and unified method? tribe all together having massive amounts of resources in that. But that's just me. If I understood this contraption, raising the elevator now should prove exciting. Minus bomb. Take advantage of his momentary weakness. Oh wow. Just needed one more. Oh, push. I don't want to kill him like that. It's just a reflex. Oh well. <laughs> this one guy. Hmm. I was meant to be guarding here. Okay, if only I had a bow. Poor guy. Path's clear. Impressive. Don't encourage her. Hi, hi. Ah. And it looks like I'm an absolute pro. Nah, I'm just kidding. I know, I just used the health feet. It's way too damn useful for these missions. <laughs> Think I'm gonna be the keeping it for a bit. Berengar, my gold. For too long, the true warriors among the Vikings had been held back by the chains of social bonds, of kin, of law. Now we would knock down their gate and return their world to its rightful order. Yeah, I'll be discussing what I think of Apollyon next time, so don't get to comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. <laughs>